Welcome back inside the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cave. As I mentioned at the top of the show, I, I took a vacation for, for once. And Where'd you go? I went golfing up north, Oscoda. Of it course. was 45 degrees. It was awful. See, golf's not fun. That's it, not, no, it that's wasn't not fun. fun. It was a great weekend. With, How far with, up north did you go? Like three hours, not even that right far. About, right about yeah. there. Yeah. But, but I, I wanted to wonder, because Mike Foster, sports producer, who's been scouring Twitter for all of our great questions, Mike, did you miss me last week well, or no? Of course we missed you. Of course we of missed course. you. Steel of course. Stealing Neil's Of course. I shouldn't be the one saying that. I feel like I, I, feel like I owe Neil royalties for saying that. But. <laughs> Of course. What's going on out there, my friend? Well, we got to start with a little compliment for Jake Chapman. Mike Illich's hair. Oh! Chapman, best oh, hair wow. in the biz, like the new graphic. That is greatness recognizing <laughs> greatness. How about that? A couple of questions regarding the Tigers. Rico asks, if the Tigers were to add pieces, what do they need most to contend in the AL? And Trevor asking, how do you rank Osmus' tirade in Major League history? Do you think this could spark the team that needs to play better ball? They have won five out of six since then, so... We'll see. Well, I just got to go online real quick and get my final bids in for his uh, jacket and hat that's up for auction. I think it's at like 4500 bucks. That was last I saw. Yeah, somebody's, yeah. somebody's going to buy that. But no, that, that's a great point. I mean, look, Osmus knew he was in the crosshairs. He had to answer questions every day about whether or not he had been talked by management. You know, Al Avila came out and kind of defended him a little bit. But then he goes on that tirade and they kind of woke up. Did that, did that maybe work? Is, or are we just looking at it and, and looking for a storyline? Well, again, they got to play the Twins. I mean, that, <laughs> uh, that certainly true. did help. Very true. No, but you leave no stone unturned. When, when you're a team and, and you're in a spiral and, and things are you know, whipping out of control, you leave no stone unturned. I mean, yeah, why not try something like that? Hey, go out there if it got the guy's attention. I mean, they are professionals in that locker room. I mean, they do drive Mercedes too. So, I mean... It shouldn't take that to get them going, right. but hey, sometimes it does. You talk about the monotony of a, of a baseball season. Maybe that gave him a shot of life. Who knows? Yeah, it, it feels like it would work more so with a younger team, you know, you know sort True. of that rah-rah, look, I'm behind you guys. But right. with that said, when they, when they go on losing streaks and when things are down, it feels like they don't really enjoy baseball very much. And part of that is because you have a $196 million payroll. You've got a lot of professionals in there. Right. So they shouldn't need their manager to take off his uh, jacket and lay it over home plate and spit sunflower seeds and do the whole nine. But with that said, you know, I, it showed something that we haven't seen from Brad. Very and true. And if nothing else, maybe they look at him a little bit different after that. No, at least this guy's fighting for us. Um, I don't think it hurt. I will give Osmus credit for this. If he's going to go down, he's going down swinging. I, so, absolutely. I, I will give him that. I, I yeah. did like to see that from that Al, for Al Avila sure. did say he is our manager right now. He didn't kind of say, like, for the future. So it'll be interesting. Look, if he takes them to the playoffs and they somehow win a series or a couple of games, I mean, I, I, it's too early. Everybody just do the same thing with me. Go, <sighs> 42 games. We have a lot of baseball left, 120 games to go. Let's wait until, I don't know. 60 more games to start making some decisions. I'm just a uh, And as to that first question uh, about the trade, I think we're all in agreement. Go get some some arm help, bullpen or starting pitching, if that's where you're going to go with it, right? But I thought we did. Like I thought that was well. The, that's more. what we were. You can never have enough. <laughs> you can never have enough. Exactly. You can never have enough. Exactly. All right. Coming up next, the LPGA is in town in Ann Arbor for the first time. I don't know. I think ever, right, Bruce? There he is. He's saying yes. It's coming here for the first time. Bruce Made is here to talk all about what's coming up. The Suburban Ford Seven Sports Cave continues. Oh! Wow.